Hello, welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. I'm here to give you some quick tips on how to get aviation scholarships. First of all, narrow it down as much as possible. Frequently, there are scholarships in your area that are only for people from your area or your state. And it could be from a local EAA chapter or a local 99s chapter or something like that. So if you can narrow down scholarships, that is awesome. Or from your specific school, sometimes it's only for people who go to your specific college or university. Secondly, do not be afraid to apply for lots of scholarships because the worst they can say is no. So you haven't really wasted your time if you get a no because you could always apply again. You can clean up that thing, apply next year, next time they open it. Third, follow instructions. I see so many applications that don't have instructions followed. If it says 500 word maximum, then yours better be 500 word maximum if that's what they said for your essay. You have to follow instructions and send it by the deadline because otherwise you have eliminated yourself. So be really careful and get people to proofread it for you. Also, be willing to sell yourself. And what I mean by that is use multiple ways to tell your story. If they want an essay and they want a letter and they want your resume, then put some information in the essay. Of course, answer the questions they want. Put different things in the letter of recommendation. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And thirdly, you want to put other things in your resume. So we have a complete story of you. When you are getting applicate or recommendation letters, I recommend offer to the person that you will write the letter for them, put it in something they can edit, send it to them and say, here is what I wrote. Could you just tweak this up? Number one, that makes people happier to help you with the recommendation letter. Number two, it lets you explain a little better about you to the scholarship people. Is this cheating? No, this is not cheating because you're still giving it to the person to actually finish the recommendation letter, put it on their letterhead, they're gonna sign it. So that is highly recommended from my perspective. And then the last bit of information is try to keep up your GPA, continue to apply, do not give up, because you just never know what kind of scholarships you can get. And don't be afraid to use a lot of different search functions online. I will put some description uh, links in the video description for other scholarships that you can get and try to apply for. And I hope it goes well for you guys. Awesome job applying for those scholarships and have a great day.